Good day everyone. So for today's video, we are going to evaluate functions. And the only question here is, how do we evaluate functions? So we evaluate functions by simply substituting a certain value to all the unknowns present in the function being defined. Ibig pong sabihin, when we say substitute, is that we are going to replace or papalitan natin ng kahit anong value depending upon the given, lahat ng unknowns na present kay function na binigay sa atin. So, ano ba yung si unknowns? Ito yung mga variables or literal coefficients na present kay function. And para mas maintindihan natin siya, let us try to illustrate it using an example. So, let f of x be equal to 2x squared plus 4x minus 8. And then we are to find for f of 0. So, what are we going to do is to replace all x's by 0. And that becomes f of 0 equals 2x or 2 times the square of 0 plus 4 times 0 since we replace x by 0 minus 8. And then what we're going to do is to simplify it. So we have the square of 0 that is still 0. So we have 2 times 0 plus 4 times 0 minus 8. And in this case, we apply the rule of m dash. So we have 2 times 0 is still 0. Then positive 4 times 0 is 0 minus 8. And if we simplify that one, f of 0 would be equivalent to positive 8. Or negative 8, sorry. Okay? So that is f of 0. So that's how we simply evaluate function. So let's try more. Let's try f of 2. And what we're going to do now is papalitan naman natin lahat ng x's by 2. So we have f of 2 equals 2 times the square of 2, since pinalitan natin si x ang 2, plus 4 times 2 minus 8. And in this case, the square of 2, ito muna unahin natin, PEMDA, so si exponent muna. We have the square of 2, that's 4, so we have 2 times 4 plus 4 times 2 minus 8. And then applying the rule of PEMDA, we have 2 times 4 is 8. Positive 4 times 2 is positive 8 minus 8. And in this case, we all know that positive 8 minus 8 is 0. So we can just cancel them out. Meaning, f of 2 would be equivalent to positive 8. Okay? So that's how simple it is. Let's try a more challenging one. Let us try f of negative 3. So in this case, papalitan naman natin lahat ng x ng negative 3. So we have f of negative 3 equals... 2 times the square of negative 3 plus 4 times negative 3 minus 8. So let us, let us just have a review. I have here two statements. So we have negative 3 square and the square of negative 3. So when we say negative 3 square, yung square po natin ay pagmamayari lang po ni 3. Meron tayong rule kay exponent na ang akin ay akin, ang iyo ay iyo. Meaning to say, negative 3 square would be equivalent to negative 9. But on the second statement, it says here that it is the square of negative 3, wherein this means that we are to multiply negative 3 by itself twice. So we have negative 3 times negative 3, that's positive 9. So ito po yung pinagkaiba, meaning yung parenthesis po has a great role in determining the value. So if we are going to simplify the square of negative 3, that would be positive 9. So we have 2 times 9, 2 times 9 plus 4 times negative 3 minus 8. And then applying the rule of M dash, we have 2 times 9, that's 18. And then positive 4 times negative 3, that's negative 12, minus 8. And then simplifying this one, that's 18 minus 12, that's positive 6 minus 8. And if we are to simplify that, then F of negative 3 would be equivalent to 6 minus 8, that's negative 2. Hence, f of negative 3 is negative 2. Okay? And let's make it more challenging this time. Let us, uh, same function, f of x equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 8, but we are not to replace all x's by 1 half. So we have f of 1 half equals, that's 2 times one, the square of 1 half, the square of 1 half plus... 4 times 1 half minus 8. 
So in this case, simplify first yung may exponent. That's 1 half square. That's 1 half times 1 half. It's 1 fourth. Plus 4 times 1 half minus a. And then we simplify that one. That is 2 times 1 fourth. That is simply 2 over 4. We just multiply 2 by 1. And then we have here positive 4 times 1 half. That is actually four over, uh, positive 4 over 2 minus 8. And then simplifying this one, we can actually simplify 2 fourths as 1 half. And then we can simplify 4 over 2 as positive 2 minus 8. And then we have, uh, simplify muna natin yung whole number para mas madali. That's 1 half. Then positive 2, that's positive 2. That's positive 2 minus 8, that is negative 6. Alright? And then for us to simplify this one, we cannot simplify or we cannot, um, hindi natin pwedeng isimplify agad-agad ito unless they are similar fractions. So we can have 1 over 2 minus, so we are to transform positive 6 into a fraction na ang kanyang denominator is 2. And that is equivalent to 12 over 2. And in this case, this would be 1 minus 12 over 2. So, f of, ne f of 1 half would be equivalent to negative 11 over 2. So, that would be the value of f of 1 half. Okay? And last example. Would it be possible if we substitute something or we substitute um, a certain value na merong siyang variable then? Let's try. Let's have f of x plus 1. So if we are to look for f of x plus 1, what we're going to do is to substitute all x's by x plus 1. So that is 2 times the square of x plus 1 plus 4 times x plus 1 minus 8. And then uh, we simplify you my exponent. This is actually the square of a binomial. If you still remember, when we have a square of a binomial, then that is a trinomial. You can uh, you can have it using a FOIL method, if you, or if you know the shortcut, then you may do so. So that is the square of x plus 1, that is actually x squared plus 2x plus 1, and then plus 4 times x plus 1 minus 8. And then, ang gagawin naman natin is to multiply it. You say uh, multiply 2 to all terms inside the parentheses, so isa-isa po yan i distribute natin, and so with 4. So that is 2 times x squared, that is 2x squared, and then if we have 2 times positive 2x, that's positive 4x, and then if we have 2 times positive 1, that's positive 2. And then if we have positive 4 times x, that's positive 4x, and then if we have positive 4 times positive 1, that's positive 4 minus 8. And then what we're going to do is to combine all like terms. Since wala namang kapareho si x squared, then we leave 2x squared. And then, meron ka mukha si 4x at yon ay si 4x din. So, pwede natin siyang pagsamahin. And then, all constants are sa latter part. So, that's positive 2, positive 4, and then we have negative 8. And by this, we can simplify this one. So, we have 2x squared. We leave it as it is dahil wala siyang kaparehas. And then, positive 4 plus positive uh, positive 4x plus positive 4x, that is positive 8x. And then we have positive 2 plus positive 4, that's positive 6 minus 8, that's negative 2. Meaning to say, if we evaluate the function as f of x plus 1, then that would be equivalent to 2x squared plus 8x minus 2. So that's it. That's how we evaluate functions.